Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. I'm Get Good Guy, and Shotgun's got a buff, which means people want to know if they're good now. Well, if you're asking me, I say both yes and no, and I'll explain why. But first, let me show you an example of why part of my answer is yes. So, in the right situation, in the hands of a player with the correct skill set and knowledge, yes, shotguns can be good. But it's more complex than that, and today's video will detail why. But first, we need to talk about how shotguns have been changed, what impact the changes have had, and other relevant subjects. Now, as this seems pertinent to the topic at hand today, this is console footage, it's all me using a controller to aim, not a mouse. So, although my coverage will apply to both console and PC, there may be some different nuances that don't translate completely. And also keep in mind, that PC aim is generally faster and more precise due to using a mouse, and the overall viability of shotguns, or at least certain shotguns, may be radically increased on PC because of this. Also, what you're watching is almost all base model shotguns, as I haven't upgraded them on this account, so they can actually be a whole lot better than you're seeing here. Yes, that means this is shotguns in their least effective form. This also means I'm very excited to get them upgraded, and see what kind of damage I can do with them then. So, in the recent patch, shotguns received a blank buff, in the form of firstly extra range, as damage drop off now starts a meter further out, and increased maximum damage per pellet fired. So specifically, the 12G and the M1897 have had their max pellet damage increased from 5 to 7.2, and the drilling has had it increased from 5 to 6.3. Now considering this is per pellet, those are sizable increases. So what effect has this had? Well, they feel far more consistent to me, something that can't really be argued with from an objective standpoint, as a damage increase of that nature results in more one-shot kills, less pellets required to kill, and essentially a more forgiving nature. This was important, as BF5 has a pretty low time to kill across the board, which has somewhat nullified the traditional single-shot killing weapons, such as shotguns and bolt-action rifles. That's not to say that they are or were bad as such, in fact some players absolutely destroy with sniper rifles still, especially especially on PC, but it's an undeniable fact that if everything kills quickly, then the key reason to use a single shot killing weapon is watered down. So shotguns now having increased lethality helps to level the playing field somewhat. It was in fact specifically written in the patch notes that the devs felt that shotguns were underperforming when compared against close range SMGs. And I think my footage does a decent job of showing that shotguns are now viable when used correctly and could do some pretty nasty work in the right circumstance. But on that topic, it's important to note what circumstance I'm talking about. And if we're taking my footage as the example, it's all from Team Deathmatch today, a mode I've so far barely touched in BF5, as I generally prefer to have objectives and more of a flow to the engagements, rather than just random chaos a lot of the time. So why did I play Team Deathmatch then? Well, despite the maps being far too big for TDM in my opinion in BF5, seriously, why the map's so damn wide, it was still a much more viable choice than many of the other modes. Because Battlefield 5 map design is, in my opinion, lopsided. In Battlefield 1, for example, the most recent predecessor to BF5, a lot of the maps could feasibly be suitable for a lot of different weapons and playstyles due to the variation present in the design of many of the maps. I don't feel that Battlefield 5 has this, at least not to the same degree. It's a game of super open spaces, long sightlines, and honestly, way too many areas with barely any cover. And so my point is, yes, shotguns are much better, yes, they can do sickeningly good work, but only only in the right circumstance, and that circumstance is pretty rare in this game when compared to a lot of the other possible engagements you can have. Now it could be claimed that you can't use a sniper everywhere, why should a shotgun be any different? And I agree, that absolutely shouldn't be the case, but the core map design of the game means there is almost always the opportunity to use snipers effectively somewhere and influence the game in pretty much every mode. I can't really say the same for shotguns, they're far more situational. Sometimes it's just like, well, why not just use an SMG or the FG42 of the support class and be more versatile? Now my personal experience of using shotguns in Team Deathmatch is that it was still pretty tough a lot of the time, but it was a lot of fun and if I tried hard, it could be very effective. Would it have been far easier to simply throw on an LMG, an SMG, a semi-auto, etc? Yes, absolutely. 
But would I have been able to do some of the stuff I did with a shotgun? No, not at all. Does that even out as being equal? Well, also no. Honestly, no it doesn't. The effort required to do well with a shotgun outweighs the rewards you can pick up, if you ask me. But was it a lot of fun? Hell yes. And did I still get some really good scores? Absolutely. So I call it a success overall. I mean, you can't fix the maps by altering one weapon archetype. That much is obvious. So we shouldn't be expecting that as the result. And it's certainly nice to have another, at least somewhat, viable weapon option available some of the time. Some may say that they don't want the shotgun to be equal to other weapons, perhaps because they just have an aversion to shotgun usage, which we'll talk about soon, or they know it could easily screw up the overall balance of the game. Like long-time Destiny players, I know they'll be more than aware of the problems that shotguns have caused in the Crucible in that game. But now let's tackle the issue of some people just blindly hating shotguns, and yes I know that this video will likely get a chunk of dislikes purely because of the subject matter, rather than what I say about it, much like whenever I talk about prone or MMGs or anything of that nature. Some people just hate anything to do with a certain weapon, tactic or topic and have no interest in listening to any of the nuances that can be discussed. Shotguns are a great example of this, because some players view them as being a cheap tactic. Now of course you can just camp in corners and lie prone with them, but really you can do that with almost any weapon. If you want to be a seriously good shotgun user, capable of being mobile, slaying out and being genuinely useful for your team, then you need to be able to close gaps. You need good positional sense and map knowledge. You need great movement solid target acquisition and fast reactions. Shotguns aren't the noob guns that many people think they are, or at least they don't have to be, because while they have a very low skill floor, which is why some people think they're newbie, they also have a very high skill ceiling, which means they can also be utilised in a far more skillful way, and watching a low ability passive player use a shotgun is very different to watching a high ability aggressive player use a shotgun. In all honesty, using a shotgun in BF5 is akin to handicapping yourself, so next time you see a shotgun user actually doing well, you should probably give them credit and understand that what they're doing is actually pretty difficult. And now I feel like we should round out with my overall recommendation. And I'll keep this brief as I'll likely do a full weapon review and tips video for each of the shotguns at some point. But right now, I recommend the model 1897. I really do. The buffs to the shotguns just seem to have catapulted this thing up the rankings from my experience. I used all three shotguns and they were all effective, but I found it very hard to put the M1897 down. The 12G was fun for spamming, the drilling is very powerful, and was undeniably the best shotgun option before the patch, but the mix of good damage and rate of fire for the M1897 is the sweet spot for me now, because the overall consistency of the shotguns just really plays in with the assets that the M1897 has. Now if you literally aren't going to miss your shots, particularly on PC because you can use a mouse, and you also want to make use of that long range slug round paired with two box shot blasts, then you may still choose the drilling, but for me right now it's the M1897. The choice for your gameplay though is of course up to you. So, which shotgun do you prefer? Are you excited about the shotgun buff? Or if you never had any interest in them? Let me know in the comments below. I'm going to let some more of my footage play out now with some background music as I know some of you enjoy that, and it also just gives you a chance to take a look at what the shotguns can do now without me talking over it. If you want to stick around for that, then great. If not, then that's totally cool. Thanks for spending a few minutes here with me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and join my Discord server in the description and my pinned comment. I'll also throw up the board of awesome at the end of the video for the epic people who support the channel on patreon and with that all said i'm get good guy and i'll see you next time laters